Hey guys, it's Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations, and as you can see, I've gotten some mail. Um, I'm going to start with the stuff that came at the other house. So this was a post office box. This one came from the other house, and this one came from the post office box. We'll do the post office box as soon as I open this one. Now this one is kind of a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting anything from New Crafter Bev. So this was a lovely surprise. And I was smart this time and brought scissors in here. And I'm doing this on the bed so every time I move it's gonna to do. I hope these will help with your card making. Oh, awesome! Um, my wish one of my wishes was, last week, was uh, just four and a quarter by five and a half or whatever, um, you know, just a regular card uh, front size of just plain white paper run through embossing folders. So these are the ones that she sent me. That one says, with sympathy. Oh, this one's precious, Beth. Thank you so much. Look, it's a snowman in a snowstorm. That is awesome. Love these funky flowers. I can pair these with some Diamond Dyes new ones. Tulips. Can you see the tulips? These are awesome. Some of these I've never seen before. That one says happy birthday. And I've thought about getting this tree before, but I haven't gotten it yet. And some music so cool and this one is just kind of a, a zebra stripe and some more snowflakes and keys oh these are amazing thank you so much and there's some with some different kinds of circles <gasps> that owl is gorgeous can y'all see the owl on there that is amazing and a tree and some fireworks and hearts and this is almost like a crocodile and some poinsettias and this is very pretty I don't know if y'all could see it or not such a pretty pattern. Thank you so much. And then a wood grain and dots and swirls and a sh cool chevron. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. That is so cool. And some flowers and some daisies. And then there's a flower and some grass and some littler flowers and a butterfly on that one. And the last one is puzzle pieces. These are awesome. This will help me so much. Y'all just don't know. I was, it was just, you know, racking my brain. What can I ask for that would really help me push out some cards? Because I would like to have enough cards made up to where when someone's birthday comes up or whatever, all I got to do is pull from my stash of cards. Okay, now this one is from Heather, and I think it's Heather C. Crafts, and she's used the cool uh, duct tape, packing tape stuff. I wanted to get some of that before I, you know, I stopped working at Michael's, because I wanted some with like the macaroni and cheese, and I wanted the um, popcorn. Hopefully I haven't cut anything. I'm trying to be careful here. Let's see here. There we go. Right. Ooh, and Heather has sent me some too. Okay, make sure I didn't like leave anything behind. There we go. Oh, that image is so cute. And I love how you made it uh, stamp the hat out of the paper so it all matches. That is so pretty. And then, I learned that embossing is apparently not my thing. 
I found a whopping total of four embossing folders. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get my craft room, well, my craft area really organized up here so I can use my products up. And I'm trying not to use anymore. But let's see what Heather sent me. Not to use anymore, but buy anymore. Oh, that one's pretty. Birch trees. And what do they call this? A, um, oh golly. It's on the tip of my tongue. Damask, a damask print. And that one, all I gotta do is add a sentiment to the middle or an image, that'd be ready to go. And then this one's really pretty. This would make a wonderful background. These are awesome. Thank you so much, Heather. You guys are rocking it. I'm good to go for quite a while here. All right. Now this one is from Sugarland, Texas, and I, I don't remember I don't remember ordering anything. I I I just don't remember ordering anything. So I don't even know what this is. And it came two day priority two day. And it was kind of nice opening the post office box and actually having stuff in there. All right. And inside this big envelope is a smaller envelope. I just don't know, you guys. What on earth? Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, here's the, in the envelope from the inside, and inside that is an envelope. Is this gonna be one of those where I just keep opening envelopes? <laughs> and you get down and it's like a key. My mother did that for my first stepfather one year. She bought him a snowmobile and she put a whole bunch of firewood in this huge box. And, oh, okay. I know what this is now. Um, or at least I think I do. Yep. Uh, but anyway, she had put the firewood in there and then a whole bunch of newspaper and he kept pulling out pieces of firewood and pieces of firewood and some newspaper and Finally, he found the tiny little envelope that was like, you know, two inch square with a key to the snowmobile. So, oh goodness. Okay, this is from Tupelo Designs, LLC. And she included some, or they included, or Tupelo, this is Tupelo. I miss Jane's videos, I really do. But I understand, she, she, her life needed to go in a different direction. Oh, these buttons are really pretty. I love the sunshine yellow. Sunshine yellow. So I'm about to say this is some glossy accents, and I'm pretty sure this is from Heather as well. She said it was going to come from somebody else. So I bet that's what it was. I bet, yes, from Heather. Thank you for your order, Heather. That's what Tupelo says. So thank you so much. This was so nice of you. And I love the little bottle because I could put this in like a little tote to go to a friend's house even. And I can refill this. And I bet this will be easier for me to control with my hands. If you just pop the top off, you can refill these. It's not that hard. So Heather, it's arrived. You were wondering about it. So I might actually try to reuse this one because it doesn't have anything on it. Okay guys, that was my mail. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll come on and give you all a little uh, health update. Um, not a lot to report this week. Just prepping for next week. And tomorrow I'm also gonna go visit my mom. Uh, she's doing really, really good with her knee replacement. She can bend her knee. I think she said 100 to 120 degrees now. So, that is really good. Uh, she just, uh, Thursday, she said the therapist is coming because right now what they're doing is my dad, my stepfather, he lifts the machine up. It's a thing you put your leg in and it makes you bend your leg. Well, him and mom work with that and mom does her exercises and then like once a week, the therapist comes by to check on her status and to um, work with her and Thursday, He's going to help her learn to walk with the cane. 
and maybe she can start getting out of the bed a little bit more and um, getting back to doing a, a few things. As long as she doesn't push it too quickly and mess things up, everything is going to work out just great. And I think she's going to be really surprised on how much more mobility she has and not being in pain from the bone on bone crunching all the time will be just amazing to her. I, I think she's in for a real shock when she starts getting her mobility back and hopefully, hopefully I say she'll go ahead and do the other leg as well. So that's all I have to share for today you guys. I had hoped to do a craft with y'all for Barbara Alexander's challenge but what I did instead is I mowed the lawn and the cottage lawn is huge. Um, there's a lot of woods around us. It's part of the, the three acres, but there is a lot of grass. It took me three hours. So that's why I haven't done much else. Um, I did all of that though. And <laughs> then I went and I bought myself three house plants. So I've got some new house plants. I put, um, I got one that's a low light. I put that in the bathroom on the back of the commode. And then I've got two that like sun, so they're out in the living area by the couch. I just wanted to get some plants in here to help keep the air nice and clean, because you know that's where our oxygen comes from, is from plants, and they clean the air. That's their job. So I decided I'm gonna try house plants again. Wish me luck. Okay, guys, I've run on long enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the goodies in my mailbox, especially my post office box. That really, really tickles me to go and actually see stuff in there. So I'm going to start sending out some surprises every now and then to whoever I have their address. If I come across something I think you might like, I'm going to start doing up packages and just send stuff off. Um, so y'all might see a surprise because I love surprises I love to get surprises I love to send surprises so watch out world here comes some surprises anyway <laughs> bye guys thanks for watching leave a comment down below give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll talk at y'all later bye